Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you two extra programs to actually boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7 and trust me guys this is gonna help you out so so much. The first program is actually gonna optimize your whole entire Windows PC and I'm gonna show you step by step exactly how to do it and the second one is just simply to remove additional input delay and trust me guys I haven't showed any of these programs before so please make sure to watch the whole entire video and if you want to support my work please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys for this first part of today's video I would like to showcase you a program which is called CC Cleaner and trust me guys this is literally the best performance boosting program out there I've been using this for years literally guys and yeah I'm just gonna leave a link to this website here in the description as you can see there's a free version there are also some paid versions but trust me guys everything we need is literally built into this free version here so we're just gonna download it here and then afterwards if you download it you're gonna get this small installer here and after you go through the installation process we're just gonna open up the program guys and as you can see here already on the bottom it already tells you all your PC specs and stuff like that this program literally analyzes your whole entire PC and for the first part we're just gonna go through everything I would recommend you to actually do here and as you can see we got first of all like a health check here um, it more or less just checks here for missing data or something which is like interrupted on your PC so we're just gonna go through it and skip to start the health check real quick and yeah this program is just gonna make sure that everything is running super good and everything is optimized on your PC guys and as you can see this is not gonna take like too long there are of course also some extra features and extra steps you can do then in the pro version you know but as mentioned that's like paid so therefore we just can see here that um, this program already found around 5 gigs of junk on our PC and yes yeah, some other things here so we're just gonna make it better here real quick and it's gonna patch up our PC and afterwards all the issues should be fixed here already <laughs> and then afterwards if we're done with that it's gonna say here your PC is feeling super good right now and yeah we're done here with this first step then we're just gonna go into custom clean and there you can see that literally this program can analyze any sort of temporary data which are saved on your PC just slowing down your windows <laughs> and yeah and after we hit that analyze button it literally found like another 10 megabytes I just did this a few minutes before this tutorial boys so therefore you can expect that you find maybe even some gigabytes I don't know and then just simply run the cleaner here click on continue and then it's just gonna delete all these unnecessary data in the background and as you can see this is first of all for like Windows applications and then we have also like a second one here for normal applications we just downloaded onto our PC so we're gonna do that in a second as well and yeah guys as you can see for the other applications we have some stuff like Spotify here Windows Store some other applications multimedia and stuff like that so we're just gonna hit the analyze button here and there's literally nothing because as mentioned I just run this like a few minutes ago on my PC personally so we're just gonna go over to the driver updater and this is also super super nice guys um, as you can see if we scan here our system this program is just gonna make sure that we're running all the drivers on the latest version which is also really necessary for gaming guys and yeah this is also just gonna take like a few seconds just simply please repeat everything I'm doing here step by step and as you can see CC cleaner just found 30 drivers which are not up to date so guys and usually this is actually part of the premium version of this program as you can see CC cleaner found 13 drivers which are not up to date but if we actually want to update it uh, we can use a 14 days trial version which I would actually recommend you I mean after 14 days you can just simply cancel it and afterwards it would cost $25 you have to know for yourself if it's actually worth it for you but I mean you can also update drivers for yourself and they're like not so important like um, deleting temporary files and then next up we're just gonna move over to the registry and this is also really cool guys it literally scans for Windows issues some missing files you know some stuff which is actually necessarily for Windows to work properly so if you're experiencing tons of game crashes or FPS stutter this will help you a ton guys and then just simply go on review selected issues and then once I ask you if you want to do like a registry before but we don't need that and then you can see my Windows PC has right now 75 missing or I don't know like interrupted data which are causing some issues so therefore you're just gonna fix all of them here and my Windows should be good to go again boys and trust me I've been using this program now for several years literally this is such a good program and just to think about that this is literally free I mean I don't know what to say there anymore boys and we're pretty much done here with this first step and yeah guys for this next step I'm gonna show you a program which is called memory duct and what this pretty much does it it cleans the standby list on your RAM and trust me guys I'm gonna explain this just in a few seconds but um, before I actually will go wait but before I'm actually gonna show you this program I know I recommended you like in the videos before to actually use this program which is called intelligent standby list cleaner and I'm gonna explain you now why this is definitely not better than the new one and why you should actually use memory duck um, if you're gonna take a look at intelligent standby list cleaner I'm first of all gonna explain you what both of these programs do 
Uh, we have like a total uh, memory system space here, which is 16 gigs of RAM. And then we have a standby list. And pretty much each action you do on your Windows PC is gonna get saved temporarily on your RAM. Um, actually filling up the free memory and we need free memory for our windows to work properly just to run smoother have more fps in games and stuff like that so therefore you should have a software which cleans this standby list here let's say like every half an hour or if like a certain gigabyte amount is achieved so yeah first of all i would always uh, recommend you actually in the videos before to use intelligent standby list cleaner but I have to say guys, I found a program which is way better, more efficient and actually easier to use. Because if we take a look here, on the free memory section, we actually have to put in our own numbers. And if we're not going to compare it to memory duct, we can see that first of all, we also see our virtual memory and our system working set, which is also just like some nice additional data. But if we're going to go here into the settings, we can just simply put in the memory cleaning section a certain percentage in so that we don't even have to calculate it for ourselves. And what's also really cool is that we can also put like an auto clean, let's say like for every 30 minutes, which is also really nice. Or every 15 minutes, you probably shouldn't do it like too often. But these two terms make it like so much easier actually to utilize these programs and these features and like just overall clean up your RAM. So let's say if our standby list is filled up above 90%, which would be on 16 gigs, I think. 14, 14 gigs, <laughs> then actually this program is going to start working in the background or we can also set like a hotkey if you realize for yourself, oh damn, I don't know, um, you're playing like Fortnite in the background and it's starting to lag or something. You can also just put a hotkey there, which would be um, control plus F1, STRG, that's like the German version of control. <laughs> then you can just automatically clean your standby list and your game should run smoother. And what's also really nice is in the general section, we're just gonna um, put the check here on always on top and load on system startup. So we don't have to worry about anything. This is just gonna run in the background, literally cause us no additional input delay. And yeah, this is just a better program, I would personally say. And I'm gonna leave it on my Discord, guys. If you wanna check it out for yourself, just simply join over the link in description. Uh, we're, by the way, over 2,000 active members. So if you have any issues with your PC, just feel free to ask in the chat. And I bet 100% there's tons of people who can actually help you out. And yeah, this is definitely the better program, I would say. And yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And and yeah guys, just real quick, I do actually have a supporter creator code which is wavy-stripes, all in like big capital letters guys, just simply put it in as it is right now here on screen, you would help me out so so much. I usually don't promote my supporter creator code too much because I don't feel like annoying you guys with it, you know what I mean. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this, and until next time, stay awesome, I'm out, peace. I mean, Gucci Lee, come take a dive. Kill that shit, but just don't kill the vibe. Yeah, we the ones they talking about.